In the headlines, Bank of Ghana once again unregulated CD coin cryptocurrency in Ghana and musician Stoneboy distances himself from the impending launch of the cryptocurrency. MPP elects constituency executive across the country with problems recorded in some constituencies. President Akufuado speaks on the 30th anniversary of the referendum that approved the 1992 constitution. Former MP for Instituta Kwaman Beposu and Analan Chermatin for president campaigner says Vice President Baumia is an alien in the MPP. Truck crashes into six vehicles in Adabraka and gas tanker also involved in another accident on the Accra Tema motorway. Welcome to the news in brief on Graphic Online. We start from the finance sector, where the trading in cryptocurrencies is not regulated by any law in Ghana and the Bank of Ghana has been issuing warnings to the public to be cautious in investing in cryptocurrencies and other unregulated schemes. In March, the BOG warned against the Freedom Coin when businessman Nana Kwame Bediakon, also known as Freedom Jacob Caesar, or formerly Cheddar, started promoting it. Yesterday, the BOG once again cautioned the public against the participating in the impending launch of another cryptocurrency investment scheme in Ghana, that is the CD Coin. In a statement, the BOG said neither the investment scheme nor its promoters had obtained approval to operate in the banking and payment services sector. Following the BOG caution, the public has descended on musician Stoneboy, who had earlier endorsed the CD coin on social media. Reacting to the BOG statement, Stoneboy in a tweet clarified that he had not been paid or appointed to officially back the scheme. Rather, he said his advocacy was for people to learn more about not fungible tokens, Web 3.0, the metaverse and crypto assets. He however admitted that he was over enthusiastic in his advocacy and urged the public to heed the BOG's caution. For the avoidance of doubt, I am not an ambassador for CityCoin. I am not associated with the product, nor have I been rewarded to promote it. It is just that crypto assets and the ability to change people's financial fortunes has caught my attention in recent times, and I simply thought I was sharing the Ghanaian version I had discovered for people who are interested, as I am, to join me on my learning path. In politics, the new patriotic party today started electing constituency executives across the country as part of efforts for reorganizing the party for the next four years. The conferences running simultaneously in 250 constituencies will end on May 2nd. While the conference was smooth in some constituencies, there were hitches in some areas. The conference in the remaining 25 constituencies are on hold due to petitions and court cases brought by some aggrieved members of the party. Okai Kwe South, Yendi and Dom Kwabenya are some of the constituencies with problems. Graphic Online visited Okai Kwe South and got this brief. In the morning, my officers and uh, the election officials encountered some problems because some people had come to lock the gate. They wouldn't allow the election to go on. They were persuaded to, to allow the process to go on and have their grievances heard, but they persisted. But of course, we can't stand in the face of law. So we had to effect some arrests and some four people are with us. And uh, I want to take opportunity to warn all people who want to cause trouble that we, the Ghana Police Service, we are not going to allow anybody to disrupt this process. It's a democratic process and it must be allowed to go in full length. They, they, they were able to show me, even though I had some few scratches on my car. The, the people were furious and according to them, they've um, heard that some of their delegates' names have been expunged from the album. But that wasn't the truth. It's been 20 years since Ghana's 1992 constitution was approved by a referendum to usher the country back into democratic governance. President Nana Adudanko Akufuado this evening addressed the nation on the 30th anniversary of the referendum. Here is a brief of what the president said. Fellow Ghanaians, 30 years ago today, on 28th April 1992, we Ghanaians took one of the most important decisions of our history. We went to the polls to decide in the referendum 
the nature of the future governance of our nation. Whether to continue to live under military rule or to live under democratic rule. Indeed, the days, months, years and decades prior to that day had seen the nation sample almost every form of governance known to man. We began our life at independence with multi-party democracy, which transitioned in the First Republic into one-party rule. Three out of the five coup d'etats in our history resulted in the overthrow of three civilian governments. Two of the coups removed military government and there was strong resistance to the idea of the formation of a so-called union government in Ghana. One fundamental barrier to the realization of this goal has to do with the ramifications of Article 55, Clause 3 of the Constitution, which currently bars political parties from involvement in district assembly elections and local government. The attempt I made in 2019 to repeal this provision and allow for the participation of political parties in local government was aborted because of the lack of a broad national consensus when the opposition NDC signaled its inability to back the repeal. It was and continues to be my view that the repeal or modification of an entrenched clause of the Constitution should attract widespread support to make it acceptable and healthy for the body politic. We should further bear in mind the strong attachment of the Ghanaian people to multi-party democratic elections. On the average, the turnout for national elections in the Fourth Republic has been 72%, one of the highest in the world, whilst the turnout for the allegedly non-partisan local government elections has always hovered around 30%. I've said it before, and I'll repeat it. I will continue to work for an extensive national consensus on this issue. And should such a consensus be attained for the repeal of Article 55, Clause 3 of the Constitution, and an agreement reached for political parties to participate in, and space for election to district assemblies. At any point during my remaining tenure of office as President of the Republic, the matter will be brought back again to the front burner of our public discourse for the necessary action. I'm hoping that after completing the necessary consultations, I will shortly be in a position to announce a way forward on this important matter and still in politics. When he proposed a consensus building this week for a Baumia Alan ticket to lead the new patriotic party to election 2024, Nana Kumia made it clear that his reason was to help prevent an internal acrimonious campaign that the MPP may not be able to recover from before the general elections in 2024. Well, there's been some reactions to his proposal, with former Chief of Staff Kojo Mpieni, for instance, saying, it is a proposal that will be difficult to implement. Former Member of Parliament for Insuta Kwaman Beposu Kwame Asafweje and an Alan Chermatin campaigner has joined the public debate on radio. Let's listen to him on what he told Accra Bay's NIT FM in reaction to Nana Komiye's proposal. Nana Komiye said, I said, said, this particular election, you know, the Edwin Suya Alan made that my observation. The Obechi Maya Jumani Alan. The Oweya Juma, they say Ghana for Jumani Ejo. Obia o agbaba wo nsho so wa ye a b c d a wo di adwuma ba gana no me asa gana for wo nsho ah but dr bamia adwuma bebre oboyi o wa ye adwuma ba me dey dey compare ala 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 ye adwuma che e ba omia beside that no beside that the pp a traditional party the omni no the omo fe so abo a party no the omo fe wa tra party no ma che the omo fe say for very long time over all to abama party no Nobody, 
And I say true. That is a certain of fact. Me, 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 yes, I'm a buana. Before I saw Obey, you know, where was Bomia Wood? I know it's one of them. When I saw no, I won't want me and come up press my crown with you, you Before I saw Obey, I know it's one of them. And I hope Papa no my way, you say, I know it's one of them. And to some traffic incidents in Accra today, there was an accident on the Castle Road at Atabraka this morning. A Kia Rhino truck loaded with gallons of cooking oil, which was descending the Castle Road from the Holy Spirit Cathedral site towards the Kojo Thompson Road, reportedly filled brakes and rammed into six vehicles. There were no injuries to the drivers and the passengers. The truck with registration number GC153320 destroyed the six vehicles, which had stopped ahead of it, waiting for the traffic light to turn green. The police responded swiftly to the accident to clear the road for traffic to flow. And from Adabraka, we take you to the Accra Tema motorway, where there was another accident involving a gas tanker. The truck carrying LPG rolled over onto the median strip on the Tema bound section of the motorway near the abattoir. A snow from the Ghana National Fire Service and the police moved in to manage the situation. A towing vehicle was on standby to recover the rolled over truck from the road to safety. The LPG in the truck was extracted into another vehicle. All approaching motorists were advised to exercise patience and comply with police directives. Due to the hazardous nature of the product, motorists were advised to alternatively use the La Teshi Nungwa Beach Road routes. We checked for leakage and we realized there was no leakage, but full of gas. So we requested for a tanker. We transferred the product from this one to that one. And then the tanker came to, we are now doing the transfer. And before we go, former GFA presidential aspirant Amanda Akuaku Clinton got married to her fiancé Jean Paul Amegashi in Accra on Wednesday. The garden ceremony had some family and friends in attendance. <laughs> News in Brief was brought to you by Graphic News Plus. Download your Graphic News Plus now and choose your preferred package daily, weekly, monthly and annually and access free news on various interest areas as well. Graphic News Plus, connecting people through news. Thank you for watching. Stay safe and protect yourself from COVID-19. For more news, visit graphic.com.gh or log on to Facebook at Daily Graphic and on YouTube at GraphicGH. I am Enoch Odao Hinyafan, Frimpong.